Creating art, connecting people, inspiring change. Project Onward is a studio and gallery that offers outsider artists a supportive environment that embraces neurological diversity. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to a new exhibit titled Life's Rich Tapestry. This exhibit showcases seven of our most talented artists. Before I hand over the reins to Robin Jablonski, our studio manager, I'd like to say a few more words about us. Project Onward is a nonprofit that provides workspace, materials, and professional guidance free of charge. Project Onward is a jewel in the crown of the city of Chicago. The creative visions of our gifted artists are on display in our city, galleries, and private collections around the world. Now I'd like to introduce Robin Jablonski to tell you a bit more about our artists and their art. Welcome to Project Onward's exhibition, Life's Rich Tapestry. We're featuring seven artists from Project Onward and the different takes on artwork, documentation, and different styles of drawing and multimedia works. This is our first artist, William Douglas, who has been with Project Onward for about eight years. And he works in multimedia, and lately he's been working in gel pen. He had a stroke a couple years ago, and he's been rebuilding the way that he uses his brain and the way that he makes his artwork. And the pieces, the brain part one, part two, show all the different aspects of what's going on in the world today and the good and the bad together. Sheila Smith has been with Project Onward for eight years. Her work is in a constant change of experimenting with colors and forms, and we also call her our in-house dot lady. One of her pieces, Bounce, has been in, featured in the New York Times with different artists and poets who are neurodiverse. Michael Smith is one of our founding artists at Project Onward. He primarily works on figure and form with the human figure and is very influenced by fashion. We featured him in January at the Outsider Art Fair in New York City. This is the work of Ken Bortman. He is a multimedia artist working in both sculpture and painting. Uh, he utilizes found object materials such as the foam cushions from couches and paints over them and sculpts into them to make something completely different. And also Ken is, has been an artist in Greenwich Village in the 1980s, so a lot of his influence came from his time in New York. Elizabeth Barron has portrayed Wangechi Mutu for our exhibition honoring African American artists through portraiture. She makes use of Wangechi's use of texture and form and beauty in unconventional ways. This is the work of Julius Batista. This is entitled Hesitation Mark from his solo show called Killing Time, where he talks about the juxtaposition between civilian life and military life. This is the work of Serena Wilson, our glitter man. He has done re repetitious works of Gomez Adams, 
influenced by his love of pop culture. Luke Shemrosky, one of our most prolific painters at Project Onward, in I'm Civilized, shows his love of squids plus the duality of the positive and the negative in life. Our artist, Paul Dada Obscura, is heavily influenced by surrealism in this painting. Thank you, Robin. This exhibit will be on display until December 19th and is located at the Bridgeport Art Center's third floor exhibition space, which is open to the public with a limited capacity. Why not do something beautiful today? Support our artists by buying art or making a donation at projectonward.org or contact the Bridgeport Art Center at 773-843-9000 or info at bridgeportart.com. I hope you enjoy our exhibit. Thank you and have a wonderful holiday season.